It's about to begin, Brian. It's about to begin. The excitement is going to start building because the cast of Superman Legacy is ready to roll. When is it starting? March? This week? Next, this week? They this week? This week? The film? Yeah, right. It was start of March. So, Brian, you texted me. You said Superman update, table read. I don't know anything about table read. What have you heard? Cast photo. We saw the cast photo. Everybody's... They look, they look happy. They look like they're ready to work. And I think that's usually the 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 the, the environment James Gunn builds around his projects. Uh, Superman Lois canceled. When I saw that, Brian, I was I was like, good for them. It's 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 time. There should only be one. There should only be one. And I'm tired of this this Superman. I, yeah, Superman Lois. Yeah. I don't really, I, I understand, but I don't need with kids. I don't want, I, yeah, whatever. And new DC event coming soon, as per Zaslov. Brian, what's going on with the Superman legacy movie? Yeah, well, I'm sure, hopefully, if you haven't seen the cast photo, you can easily find it. I think it was Nathan Fillion that took the selfie with everyone down there. But the table read is, you know, they've got, they're getting together and they're going through the script. There's just their first dry run of reading all the lines and being in the same room together. And, you know, we had an exchange about Nicholas Holt has shaved his head. I think he's still got a little work to do on it. And I think he'll get some help from the costume and makeup department. But he shaved his head. He looks pretty good, just generally speaking, as a ball guy. I, you know, you always wait to see what it, how it translates. And his face does look pretty good as a ball guy. David Corn sweat is tall. I, I don't know what they list him as six four. I looked at the photo. I was like, "Are we sure he's not like six six? Brian, did you do you like that? Do you like the fact how they hit him behind everybody? You don't see yeah, his body. Yeah, you had to look for him. He's like Waldo <laughs> back there, but he's so tall. They couldn't they couldn't totally hide him. Oh, um, that's the first thing I noticed. Yeah, so he stands out. And then you know, Rachel Brosnahan's been on the the red carpet recently, and she kind of teased. Uh, she got a look at the suit, and she said it was amazing. A couple of the characters have been posting like little on their socials, like just their place cards basically from the table read and you can see the the s logo has been modernized a little bit i thought they're it looked using, pretty dark. they're using the, the kingdom come uh, superman logo yeah right so it's like a little bit broader i guess in the center but it like yeah so it's slightly different version on the i think it looks pretty good so that's that's a good choice so so look yeah what cameras are rolling like that's the thing cameras are rolling this shoot is underway we're officially this is officially happening you know, again, David Zasloff as hype man has not really been, has kind of been like a country oh, indicator. But, yeah. but he obviously was on 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 the most recent earnings call talking up Superman Legacy and how good it, the script is and how good everything's going. And yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. That that has not been a good indicator as, as we saw with Black Adam and and, and Flash. But um, that's what he's been talking about. And so yeah, no, I think I think it's just exciting because look, they're on time. Like I said, they're they're definitely going to make that July 2025 deadline. I'm just cringing, and I'm really hoping we don't get too much in the way of photo leaks from the set because it's so hard with a movie like this to really tell, um, you know, with Superman and the Superman effects. But I, I just I don't want to see the suit that way. Let me I want to see the suit in a true promotional image uh, or in a yeah, cheap, the way it's supposed to be, like, hey, the way the they want people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want to see those whack visuals. If you were James Gunn and you're on set and you're going to talk to everybody, what would you say about that in particular? Yeah, How would you I mean, handle that? Yeah, I would just say, I would actually borrow. So I would borrow from the Kevin Feige playbook. So if we believe the reports, Kevin Feige, I think, says before the start of every Marvel project, he makes everybody involved watch Superman the movie, not a Marvel movie. They all sit down and they watch Superman the movie. Why? Because he says it's because he always wants everyone to remember what they're supposed to feel like in the movie they're making now. Bingo. If I was James Gunn, I'd have them watching the Superman the movie and say like, this is the emotional chord we want to strike with our audience. And as part of doing that, don't mess this up for us by putting out stuff before we're ready to do it. If Star Wars never existed and Empire Strikes Back were coming out, we would have already known that Darth Vader was his father already. They put it in the trailer. With the way oh. movies are made oh, now, yeah. they would have put that in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, 
and, 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 and we need to get back to that, uh, you know, discovering those things and understanding those things in the theater. But uh, it's, it's, it's difficult nowadays. But so Bra- Brazahan, you know, actors always, you know, they're professionals about this. But I did like, she's like, they said, what are you doing these days? She said, I'm reading a lot of comics, a lot of comics. I'm like, good. Like, good. I'm glad you should, you should learn your character. Like you should learn the DNA, not just the cinematic history of your character. You should learn the comics history of your character. If you're going to pull this off. And then once you're done with this stack of, of joints here, there's some Blu-rays I need you to look at. That's right. <laughs> Superman, uh, an animated series. Right, watch, exactly. watch yeah. all them joints. You reference some of the other Superman related stuff that's going on. Uh, which I think is notable. The Superman and Lois cancellation. Now, this is a show that I've only seen a little bit of. I never really got fully in, invested in it. Um, generally well regarded, I would say. This is not a show that was kind of viewed as a failure. It, it did have some different takes. I think you and I both are sort of in the camp that like the actors portraying the characters aren't necessarily the best. But I will say like for a TV show, some of the visuals are decent. Um, and you know, some of the some of the effects are decent. So the show lasted, but I thought what was interesting was they said they canceled the show because they didn't want anything competing with Superman Legacy. And Pablo, Absolutely. I noted that and circled it. Was listen, if this is your tent pole, if this is the franchise cornerstone, then make it that. Yeah. yeah. Don't, which also led me to you're gonna tell me that you're gonna cancel Superman and Lois four seasons in because it's competitive threat to Superman legacy, but you're still going to make that other Superman project. I don't yeah, buy it. How is yeah. that not competing? Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, buy yeah, it. Yeah, 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 this yeah, goes yeah. back to why I don't think the JJ Abrams, Tana Hase code Superman is ever going to get made because just, yeah, just say there's not being made and move on with their lives, please. They, they're making the right moves, Brian. They're making the right moves. I mean, how does it, uh, when you look at Batman, Bat, uh, Matt Reeves' Batman and the possible Alan Richards cast, casting, I would assume, Brian, that by then we will already be done with the trilogy. And then it will be all whatever James Gunn's Batman is going to be doing, correct? I, You know, to be honest... Brave and the Bold to me is in that category of a Superman legacy doesn't make it. We're not going to ever see that movie. But, I mean, I know they say Andy Muschietti still the director. There's been no updates on it. There were rumors that he was let go from the movie that were debunked. Someone sent in a picture still showing like he has a parking spot on the, on the, on the WP lot. It's like, oh, he hasn't been fired. Like, listen, let's be straight. Like, they've pr- they're, they're, Creature Commandos is getting made right now. We're getting that for sure. Superman Legacy is going in front of the camera. We're getting that for sure. Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow is going to get made for sure. Everything other than that is CBD as far as I'm concerned, including Batman the Brave and the Bold. Now, they have the Elseworlds project. That's different, right? Matt Reeves has his own thing. Todd Phillips has his own thing. We are going to get the Batman Part 2 uh, in late 2025. And- so you think we're getting Supergirl no matter what, even yeah. if Superman Legacy fails? Yes. Well, because Superman. I think they're too far in because they've got their lead, they've got their script. Like they're far enough along that they're going to shoot that movie, right? It's like the equivalent. It's like the equivalent of like if everything else has failed, it becomes like a new Blue Beetle, right? Where it's like we made it. It's not a bad, like we already made it. We're putting it out. Um, but I think, I think Brave and the Bold is a ways off. I think that's probably like 2027, 2028. And it's funny because. This Alan Rich and Buzz is definitely building. Like he's getting asked about it now when he goes on podcasts. And like he basically was downplaying it. But then someone was like, You do know in Brave and the Bold, it's an older Bruce Wayne, right? And he's like, Oh, he's like, oh, I love to do it. He's like, I'll do it in a second. Keep yourself a best, Alan Richardson. <laughs> so, Brave and the Bold, he is an older Batman. You can you can still possibly pull it off. You don't have to be putting yourself through excruciating um, uh, <laughs> transformations, uh, but you still got to look great. But, well, he uh, might have to, but he have to call Christian Bale for like, how do I get from 245 to 205 and back up to 245 so I could do reach your and back? Let me say to my uh, uh, garden of apples. <laughs> so anyway, I think that project's a ways off and I wouldn't really be, really be thinking we're going to get anything concrete about casting anytime soon. What did 
what did I think go completely unnoticed was this DC event. I, yes, I don't yes, know yes, why yes. this isn't all over the news. Zaslav in the earnings call makes a explicit reference to some kind of event in the next few months where James Gunn and Peter Safran are going to update us on the 10 year vision of the DC universe. That sounds like a big deal to me. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a presentation a la Kevin Feige. And clearly that's going to be more than we've, like they gave us a list of projects for chapter one. This is clearly going to be an update and additions to that. And nobody really has run with this as a big story, but it's public domain from the CEO of the company. So this to me was like, well, what could we, what else might we learn about Superman legacy at that point? Because they will be several months in. I don't think they drop a teaser there. I don't think it would be that kind of event, but I just kind of got my antenna up that like we're getting some major DC news here in the next few months. Do you probably see, I mean, maybe perhaps they leave that for San Diego Comic-Con, but for this, I don't see James Gunn doing something similar to what Kevin Feige. We don't want to no. see what he, he's done before. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to see, we don't want to see that. So I'm, 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 I'm interested in seeing how this event uh, is uh, presented. Well, that's why I think, that's why I think one of the things you will get at this event is a release date for Supergirl and the announcement that James Gunn is directing it. That seems like a realistic possibility because we have the script of the lead. The other thing that crossed my mind was, yeah, would we get at least one new major project of a known character that we haven't heard about to date? Green Lantern, maybe? So something like that. That that would seem to make some sense. I hope it's not Lobo. Interesting. No, I don't think so. I don't think they're ready no. for the Lobo solo project. I think I'm not ready to see Jason Moore. I think he's coming. If I had to guess, I think they're going to introduce him as a supporting character in an existing movie before they attempt the, the headline Lobo movie. That's my. If they ever get that far, it certainly feels like we're going to get more substantive DC news before we get kind of sort of a, the next huge Marvel reset. I don't know what to call it, you know, of the table. So maybe they're, maybe it's like their version of Fandom. They're going to like restart something like that. Yeah, because Fandom is whack. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hmm. It'd be interesting that presentation, Brian. Anyway, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Superman update. Um, where is your excitement level? Now, it, 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 here it is. The time has arrived. We're not going to be, obviously, we're not going to be seeing anything uh, regarding, obviously, you know, we're not going to see no dailies. We're not going to, see, none of that, right? We, we we will have to wait for the next, until James Gunn is ready to show us something. That's where, that is when we should see something. Not in leaks, not in, you know what I'm saying? It's difficult, but... Yeah. This is going to be tough. Well, David Zaslav, I will say this. They got a guaranteed hit coming because Dune 2 is coming. And that is being talked about. I mean, listen, we've had, we've had our fun at the expense of movies when, these, when they start throwing out the comparisons, right? But when you start, when, when Christopher Nolan tells you this is the Empire Strikes Back of, of this franchise, and I saw multiple references like this is the modern Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, it's, you say it. I mean, it's like, these are like top 10 movies of all time. Since there are people out there singing the praises of this film. Uh, I was listening to John Campia. I was waiting for him to say something crazy. And, and, and he was in line, Brian, with everyone who has seen this movie, that this movie is one of the best films ever made. And that's exciting. And that's exciting. That's why I bought my tickets. I'm going to see yep. it Friday I'm, morning. We'll talk about it. As, you know, we've both seen it. But yeah, IMAX, t IMAX, 70 millimeter IMAX is the only way I'm seeing it. I'm, I've got, mo I actually got multiple show tickets to, for that now. So. But tied back to one of the shows that we did prior, Brian, um, what, due to, this is the science fiction and there's going to be a ton of action, Brian. There's going to be a lot of fight sequences, Brian. There's going to be a lot of the things, Brian, that we look for in a movie that this this movie seems to have done on another level or in a way that we haven't seen before that we will be sort of looking for others 
to sort of take notice, not copy Brian, but to elevate. And that seems to be a difficult thing to do um, as of late. Uh, so your uh, your thoughts on that connection to what the show to the show that we 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 just did. Well, Dune One is not an action movie. It's a movie, it's a science not, yes. fiction movie that has action in it. I think Denny Villeneuve achieved, made a visual achievement with his action because I think the, the effects of the shielding, kind of some of the close quarters fighting, some of the nighttime battle scenes in particular, they look distinctive. What this movie has an opportunity to differentiate and separate that I have no idea is this is supposedly a war movie, right? So the scale. The idea of this, the giant sandworms and sort of the armies, you know, on on the on the planet's surface, that is not something that Dune One really went in big for. It was a lot of setup, smaller scale battles leading up to this. So, look, I mean, Villeneuve is in that category with Nolan of sort of they do something visually different almost every time out, and every one of his projects looks amazing, whether you love the movie or not. So. My, yeah, that's my expectations are incredibly high that we're going to see a battle sequence and be like, well, how come every battle se- how come every battle movie can't do something like this? It'll be a, a sight to behold, bro. I'm looking forward to seeing that on Friday. I have my popcorn ready. My my, I just can't wait. I just can't like, wait to go to, back to the movies and see something fantastic, bro. So memo to David Zaslav: Next time you're going to be the hype man. Don't be the hype man for The Rock. Don't be the hype man for Ezra Miller. You got, I mean, you blew it. I mean, it wasn't you that blew it with Nolan, but Warner Blood was blew it with Nolan. When you got a top five, top six director in the fold, that's the movie you be the hype man. Be the hype man you do on the earnings call. But but this is the problem. You (laughs) lost all your credibility, man. He's lost all of it. When you said Black Adam's going to be, though, can't wait for Black Adam, can't wait for Flashpoint. And they turned out to be the, the 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 disasters that we we saw. Come on, I can't take you seriously anymore. Like, yeah, get out of here. Yeah. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Superman, uh, um, the beginning of what uh, the Superman Legacy movie will be. It's finally started, and uh, we're definitely looking forward to it. Um, let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report.